congregate outside, and police are regularly called to deal with disturbances. Okay, you're going to take a stir a dirty in a minute, I swear on my life. When we attempted to speak to the managers here, our presence quickly became a problem. Okay. All right, we're off. We're asking you. Ask you nicely. Ask you nicely. Households nearby told us they feel threatened and didn't want to talk on camera. Others argue young offenders shouldn't be pushed out of the community, but need to be better managed. There's often lots of people hanging around outside, um, and that can be quite intimidating if you're trying to walk past. On the other hand, I think these places are, you know, part of rehabilitation for these guys, so it's important that we don't just say, not in my backyard, and I think we need to think about it in a bit more of a balanced way. Serious concerns have been raised about the safety of local school pupils after claims they've been assaulted and had mobile phones stolen and that needles have been left in the school grounds opposite. Complaints about this hostel have been made to the county council over a number of years. Some people have signed an online petition calling for it to be shut down. They've made complaints of being attacked in the street, uh, being abused. Clearly there are problems. I've asked uh, the county council to have a higher level of staffing and a more specialist staffing. There are far too many people in this property and such a high concentration of people with very uh, multiple uh, social problems is going to always be difficult. The County Council says many of the young people here have experienced significant instability in their lives and view this accommodation as their home and a place of security. The authority says it's looking at providing different types of accommodation with smaller units and has called a meeting between the council, local residents and police. Well, the company that runs the hostel, Bournemouth Church's Housing, said there was no one available to be interviewed, but told us they are working with the community to address these concerns.